Sewing your quilt with rayon? Yup, you heard me. Rayon Fabrics is not just for sewing garments anymore. Let me show you. Hey everyone, it's Melly from AGF. Today I'm sewing a quilt with my favorite new substrate, AGF Super Soft and Luxurious Rayon. Yes, rayon. Today I want to show you the technique we use to create this stunning rayon quilt top and how we plan on quilting it and backing our quilt. We wanted to celebrate our new AGF stripe rayon by cutting our strips vertical, horizontal, and yes, on a 60 degree angle. Now, don't be afraid. It's not as scary as it sounds, I promise. In today's video, I'm going to be introducing the flat felt seam technique and how we pressed, cut, and pieced our quilt top. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see our finished rayon quilt. We are excited to share with you a new addition to our rayon family. Welcome our new rayon striped fabrics. Four perfect shades that are basic enough to add to any wardrobe. Lightweight and flowy, AGF rayon has an ultra smooth hand with delicate gorgeous drape. AGF rayon is 100% natural and is perfect for apparel sewing. We love wearing rayon striped accessories for a touch of sass and cuteness. But with our love for quilting, we just had to make a rayon quilt because we can't get enough of our dreamy substrate. With a mix of AGF stripes and solids, we placed together a quilt we truly fell in love with more and more through each step of the quilting process. If you want an extra soft lightweight quilt for your own, make sure to grab a copy of the downloadable PDF instructions. The link is in the description box below. Before we get to piecing our quilt top, let me fill you in on some things that will aid you in the completion of your quilt. We tried out two different threads. One was 100% cotton, 40 weight quilting thread, which worked very well. But we also tried 100% polyester thread, which worked about the same, but we believe to be a better choice. Feel free to use whatever you got on hand, but the most important thing you will need is to use a sewing needle meant for lightweight fabrics. This needle has a narrow shaft and a sharper point to pierce the fabric easily without leaving large holes that a traditional quilting needle might leave. Other things you might need is a stiletto to help hold down the seams as you sew and to keep your fabrics laying flat. Think of using long sharp pins to hold your pieces together, which works wonders when using finer delicate fabrics such as rayon. Lastly, mixing a bit of best press into a spray bottle filled with water will work out all those unwanted wrinkles like a charm and cause it to wrinkle less easily throughout the process of sewing up your quilt. Give your fabrics a good spritz and with a low heat setting, press your fabrics with up and down movements as to not distort the fabrics. Now it's time to cut your fabrics. I found it to be super helpful to use smaller sections of fabrics than using a full width of fabric since our rayon fabrics are 54 inches in width. Using smaller manageable chunks will be easier to manipulate for a beginner rayon quilter. I also found it to be helpful to match up my stripes on the fabric and cut my fabrics following the stripes for a clean, less wonky look. Cut out your pieces following the cutting directions in our downloadable PDF or have fun improv piecing your strips and rectangles together for a unique, one-of-a-kind look. To cut your pieces on a 60-degree angle, match up your 60-degree line to the bottom edge of your fabric and the top end of your ruler should line up with the corner of your fabric. Make your first cut. Following your first cut line, measure out whatever size width you desire to create your 60 degree angle strips. Trim off your ends and you're ready to start piecing. Meet Anita, one of AGF's super sweet and talented seamstress. She is going to teach us how to create the flat felt seam. Also, meet Ellie, the talented quilt designer who helped bring this quilt to life. Take two of your pieces and sew right sides together at 5 8 inch seam allowance. Trim one side of your seam allowance so that it's half the width of the other seam allowance. Be careful to not cut the other seam allowance. Please feel free to take your time. Breathe, there's no rush. Okay, time to take it to your ironing board. Fold the raw edges of the wider seam allowance and press. Now fold the wider seam allowance over the narrow one and press.
Bring this back to your sewing machine and edge stitch the seam allowance in place. Your pieces will look wonderfully finished on the front and back. Repeat this process with all your pieces to create your own rayon finished quilt top. To keep our quilt nice and lightweight, we opted out of using the traditional batting and used our pure solid white linen to back our quilt. We placed our quilt on top and hand stitched them together. Our quilt top is complete and we're absolutely obsessed with our soft summery quilt, which we will for sure be bringing to the beach and using on a ton of occasions. I hope you found the tips and tricks in this video to be helpful. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now let's take a closer look at our finished quilt. Anita and Ellie really hope you all loved seeing the process behind their rayon quilt and hope you plan to make one too. Ellie is definitely feeling all the feels seeing her rayon quilt complete. This labor of love got us all motivated to create our own rayon quilts and to think outside the box. For more fun inspiring videos, make sure to subscribe to the AGF channel. Leave us a comment below if you ever quilted with rayon fabrics or would love to give it a try. Until next time, happy sewing.